I tell you, that is one beautiful car. You know, that C8 is absolutely amazing. That's only the third one we've had here for 2020. Uh, we have three more being built for 2020, and we had 10 of them that were 2020s that got pushed to 2021. And, uh, you know, I still haven't even driven one. I have two on order that were basically sold uh, for 2020 that should be here, you know, soon. Uh, I think they're starting to build 2021s by November, which means the 2020s we have on order should be here before then, I would imagine. Uh, so I just can't wait till my two customers can get their cars that they ordered last August, uh, literally a year ago. Um, it's been quite a wait, but it'll be well worth the wait. So, you know, I, I look forward to those cars coming in for them. I can't wait to actually be the guy that drives them to the gas station to fill them up. So, you know, at least I can get a couple, uh, couple miles in and, and just kind of see what it feels like, you know, even though I'm just driving to the gas station. But um, yeah, really, 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 really awesome car. This van is going today, so I'm just bringing it in the back here so they can do a detail on it. Uh, I put a post up recently about this, just that it was sold uh, to give you guys a quick update. Uh, you know, videos have been a little lax at the moment. You know, I was trying to finish up last month and uh, I only finished with 13 cars, which is not a lot. My floor traffic count was down, um, you know, so towards the end there, it's like, what do you do? Do you, do you film throughout the day or do you focus on trying to get in front of, you know, every customer you possibly can? So that's what I did. I focused on trying to get in front of customers. Um, you know, I had a lot of customers. I got a lot of follow up towards the end of the month. Uh, not so many deals at the end of the month. But um, right now for September, we already started with four. I got uh, this van. We spotted an Equinox Premier yesterday. I got a 2021 Tahoe sold and I got a 2012 uh, Malibu sold. And I'm working like six deals right now. So any minute or any day now, hopefully I'll get a whole bunch of deals written on paper. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go all out and try to sell as much as we can for September because in early October I'm taking a week off uh, for some vacation time and I want to try to just make sure I, I maximize before I go. So let's get this uh, this key to my detail department. We'll get this van cleaned up for around 11:30 when my customer comes down to pick it up, uh, and then let's uh, let's see what else we can sell today. You know, one funny thing about the C8 here, uh, we have our morning meeting, we kind of just stand around inside the shop here. But uh, as I'm standing behind the car, you know, you can't help but notice that the passenger mirror is much further out than the driver's side mirror. Now I've heard of that. I never really looked up to see why. I'm assuming it's just for visibility, but if you look at the distance between the, the A pillar and the mirror on each side, you know, the, uh, the driver's side is much closer. Again, I'm assuming it's just for visibility, but I'm gonna have to go inside and look that up and get a, a definitive answer. Yeah, I just looked it up and it's exactly what I thought. It's, it's purely for visibility reasons due to the driver's sitting position. You know, the way they are in the car, that mirror is kicked out further to get your visibility around that rear, that rear fender more. Um, so yeah, it makes perfect sense. My van client is here, so we're just gonna pop the temp on. Once they're done signing their paperwork, they'll be on the road. I had a game plan where I was gonna go over a deal I had been working on this Colorado ZR2. And the idea was gonna to be to, to pull it out, test drive it and compare it to another one, but all these cars are blocking the way. So I'm not gonna be able to get it out. But this here is a 2020, uh, 2021 Colorado ZR2. I pulled it in from our little fall store the other day uh, for some clients that were looking at it. It was a telephone up that I took. Uh, they wanted the truck in the worst way, but you know, for, a situation which is out of my control uh, the deal cannot be put together but what an awesome truck now if you're not familiar with the zr2 uh, this truck is like highly highly capable off-road it has these multi-matic uh, dssv shocks here in the back one they look awesome you got like the muscle man inside the sprocket there or in that gear you know you just you can tell that 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 is definitely performance oriented um, of course, that's front and rear. Uh, you have rock rails along the side. You know, these are going to protect the, uh, the, the underbody of the, the vehicle here. If you were doing any kind of off-road and sliding down any rocks, 
You got your roll bar here with your LED lights up top to really light up the way. Just a really awesome truck. Spray and bed liner. And of course the new Chevrolet stamping in the back tailgate, which is new for 2021. Wrangler door track tires. Even the front end, like this new grill is just really a cool look. You can see how the bumpers are cut out so the tires have more, uh, more exposure to kind of crawl over rocks and things like that. It's just a really highly capable vehicle. And when you drive it, it feels so much uh, different than the regular Colorado. Just by looking out, like when you're looking out the front windshield here and you see that big bulge up on the hood, you know, you're a little taller than the regular Colorado. It has a little bit of a lift to it, you know, so it just, it feels fantastic. And driving this over from Little Falls over to here, there's one road, I wish I had the camera, I wasn't able to film it, but there's one road that really kind of winds through the woods as you're climbing this hill. And it's really choppy. The road is really choppy like a washboard, you know, it needs to be paved. And uh, as I'm going, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour through those turns, you know, the truck just maintains and handles phenomenally, you know, so even if you're not going off road, you know, the suspension on this truck is, is good for everyday use as well. You know, a lot of times with pickup trucks, when you drive them and you hit those bumps, especially on a turn, you know, the back end will kind of wiggle out because it's very light back there. Uh, in this, this truck was planted and it handled it, it handled it really, really well. Uh, if I end up having to drive this back to Little Falls, uh, I should take it down that road with the camera and kind of film it for you guys. But um, absolutely awesome truck. You know, if you want something that's highly capable for off-road, uh, it's about $48,000, 48,605 as equipped. Uh, it's before any kind of deal with discounts and incentives and things like that that you might qualify for. But um, I was really hoping I got a deal on this. I was really hoping I sold it. And again, uh, you know, due to circumstances that are out of my control, uh, we were not able to put this deal together. I am still currently working a deal on a 2021 Chevrolet Camaro SS, which I'm gonna show you next. This is the dual mode performance exhaust. And I mean, it, it sounds absolutely amazing. It, I don't think anybody can really say it doesn't sound great. Now you do get exhaust systems that are aftermarket that are louder and give you all sorts of or extra noise, which is also cool. But uh, you know, quite frankly, I really like this system a lot. Uh, the glare might be a little tough on here, but I just want to show you one thing. If you go to settings, vehicle driving mode, this is where you can actually change the engine sound. So you can go to stealth mode, which is going to be a more quiet exhaust. You can go to touring sport, track, or you can have it in auto, which means when you use your little mode selector here and you pick what drive mode you're in, whether it be touring, uh, you know, sport, track, or snow and ice, it'll change not only the exhaust sound, but it'll also change the steering feel and the suspension and all of that stuff as well. Uh, or again, you can go in here and you can manually change your steering to whatever feel you want, or you can manually change your suspension to whatever feeling you want. So the ability to customize in this vehicle is just phenomenal. You know, it's really a, it's really a great all around vehicle for, uh, you know, just new technology. Not to mention it has a ton of power. Uh, you know, this is the 10 speed automatic where you can use your paddle shifters here, uh, up shifting on the right, down shifting on the left. And, uh, you know, it's just 6.2 liters of pure American power. Uh, I really hope that I sell this car. The gentleman that's looking to buy it, it's actually for his son. It'll be his son's first car. Now, they're no no uh, stranger to power. This gentleman bought a Z06 for me back in like 2006 that he had modified a little bit uh, that he just recently sold. And this would be the, the car for his son. So we've been talking about it for the last couple of days. They're thinking about it and uh, just deciding on, you know, do they want to move forward or not? So hopefully I find that out. Uh, if not today, maybe Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> Well, ladies and gents, I think that's gonna be about it for today's video. I, not too much content today, but I wanted to put something out there. I wanted to show you that ZR2. I obviously wanted to get a little bit of footage of that C8 and show you a little bit of that. 
Uh, you know, nice to finish a video with a, a red Camaro and a red Blazer. You know, Chevrolet's building a lot of awesome performance vehicles. You know, so if you're in the market for a car and you're thinking Chevy, just go to your local store. Go to your local Chevy dealership, check out what they have to offer, drive some of the stuff, check out the technology with the integration of the phones and the safety features and everything that they have to offer. Uh, I think you'll truly be impressed. And, uh, you know, listen, if you don't buy a Chevy, maybe you'll start. And if you do, I, I'm almost certain you'll continue.